Okay, out here on the water, beautiful overcast day. Just got off of work. Let's see if we can't get some. Okay, so before we show you on the water catching fish with these flukes, I wanted to go over a couple different setups with you on how to actually fish the fluke and different ways you can rig it up. Okay, so first things first, all right? This right here is typically what you call a fluke, all right? This one specifically is a zoom fluke and the way I got it rigged right now is what you call a Texas rig. I wouldn't usually have the hook sticking this far out. I'd usually text pose it so that way the hook is almost flat into the surface of the fish right there. Hopefully you got a good view of it. Now, that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is you can go ahead and take a little baby hook, which I'm about to show you. So you can use one of these octopus style hooks right here. And these work pretty good. And you just hook it right through the nose. All right, just like this. So literally hook it. I don't go in through the center. I like to go in through the bottom when I do this. And then hook it up just like that right through the center bam and then you got that just hanging there and what that does is number one when you're pulling on your on your line it's going to get even crazier action it's going to be throwing all over the place and number two you're for sure going to get that hook set as long as you react in time reason being is because when a fish sees a fluke like this and it's doing all that crazy action and swimming around they're going to grab it and when they grab it with this hook already exposed, it's gonna turn around and go right back up into the roof of the fish's mouth. All right, really easier, a lot easier than this Texas rig setup, which the fish has to grab on and has to grab on enough before it realizes it's not real. And then again, same thing, turn around and pop it up and try to set that hook. But when it's text posed like that, it's a lot harder to do so. now. The reason why I was fishing a Texas rig in this video, and you will see, is because this lake is full of nothing but crazy weeds, all right? Weeds everywhere, hydrilla, grass, whatever, every type of foliage you could possibly have in water this place had. But that's why I went Texas rig. When you're in a more open water scenario, that's when I would move to this guy right here and hook it straight through the nose. Now. You can hook it right through the middle if you want. Some people do it. I mean, fishing, that's the beauty of fishing. It's all your preference and you can do what you want, do what works for you. This just happens to work for me the best. And then when you're going with color, the color, the big deal between color is, so right here I got more of a natural color and then here is obviously a more white chartreuse kind of glowish color. I would use this in very clear water. Why? It just looks more natural. It looks more like a shad. This I would use in dirtier water because it's gonna put out you know, a flash, it's gonna get that attention more. And especially when you're in dirty water and you're throwing that, you have to throw it where the fish are because they're not gonna be able to see it very well when they're in that dirty, nasty water. And you don't have those vibrations going like crazy like you do on your typical hard jerk baits or your crank baits that's just cranking all these crazy vibrations in the water. That's why the color, and location will be key when throwing this in the in the dirty water. All right, so how am I gonna fish it? Fishing it on a spinning reel with a six foot six medium action rod. Why? I just like it that way. I've tested it out on a fast action rod. I've tested it out on uh, ultra light systems. I, this six foot six medium action rod just works best for me. Six foot six, the reason why I like that height is because typically I'll fish from a kayak and you don't have a lot of room to get that downward twitching style, which is the next thing I'll go over. You'll see me in this video talk about how important it is to do like a twitch, twitch, pause, find your type of cadence that you want, you know, whether it be three twitches and a pause or maybe just fast twitch the whole way through. You gotta do different things to experiment and see what those fish are reacting to on that day. On this typical day, twitch, twitch, pause was working. So, and when you're doing that, you wanna keep your rod tip nice and low, trying to keep that just underneath the surface. So, when, like I said, what you're doing is it's looking like a wounded bait fish. It's looking like a fish that might be in distress or getting chased, which automatically triggers that fish's instinct into wanting to go ahead and bite it. But you will notice a lot with these flukes, especially in clear water, 
is as soon as that fish bites on, they're probably gonna let go because one, they might realize that it's not real. So sometimes those salted baits and scented baits might keep them on a little bit longer. Uh, and two, it, it's mostly just a reaction. They see that fish and they see it going crazy, that fluke in the water, and they're like, oh man, I want it, I got it. And that's why hook set is so, so very important. And you'll see the importance of it in this video. Enough with the talking, let's get to the action. Oh. Ah. Come on, baby. Oh, are you serious? Good night. All right, well, I was throwing a uh, little fluke out there, and I was getting a lot of responses and a lot of non-committal bites, and, you know, all the way up to the point where they're following it, grabbing it, uh, just weren't grabbing enough to commit to where I could set the hook at all. I don't know. We'll keep trying, though. Obviously, they're, they're wanting to eat. All right, so when you're working these flukes, there's a couple different ways you can go. You can do it fast, slow, jerk, jerk, pause, one jerk at a time. Whatever way works best, like today for me. Oh, and there we are. You ain't going nowhere this time. Just like that. Just like that. Little guy, but hey, I'll take it. Oh, little fluke coming through on the on the big time. It's nice, like it. Thanks, little dude. Let's get a good release on you. All right, see ya. Oh, he's strong still. Finally got him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's catch some more. Cool thing about this lake is it's super clear. It's also got a lot of grass. And the reason why I knew the old fluke would be great out here, because as soon as I started throwing it, fish were following left and right. And this old jerk jerk pause is working fine. So hopefully we got ourselves a keeper here because I was using a trick worm, caught one on that, doing the same thing, jerk, jerk, pause, jerk, jerk, pause, but didn't have much luck after. Once I switched up to the fluke, I noticed a lot more action, a lot more follows, a lot more strikes. The only bad thing is I got my fluke Texas rigged. When you Texas rig your fluke, you almost lose out on being able to set that hook properly. Reason being is you see there, that's the hook. So when you grab, when that fish grabs that hook, he's got to grab a hold of the whole dang thing, pull it in. Uh, a good way that I've seen people do it is they'll actually take a small shanked hook and throw it right through the nose because nine times out of ten, they're going to bite the face first. All right, hopefully the wind's not so bad you can hear me. Another thing that I noticed and I wanted to push out was that this fluke worked way better as soon as it got a slight wind on the water. When it was all calm and slick, I was getting follows but no bites. As soon as like, a little wind got on the water, money, baby. Right, another important aspect of fishing this fluke, and I know it might be hard to see because of the wind, but I got a grass line right here. That grass line, is usually where the fish hang out and hide out and look for tiny little bait fish like this and almost kind of ambush them. And when that fluke is jerk, jerk, stop in the water, what you're doing is you're making it look like it's a frantic fish, an injured fish, something to go ahead and drive those instincts and a lot of times get a good reaction bite out of it because, hey, a fish can't resist a, a wounded fish. It's easy prey. It's still alive, but it's wounded. Oh, just, oh. Like I said, that's the issue. Not able to set that hook properly. Keep, keep going, keep going. Oh, 
And that's what a good hook set looks like right there, baby. Right there in the top of the mouth. As soon as you feel that tug, you gotta jerk upwards. Get that bad boy out. Hey, not a bad little guy, not a bad little dude at all. I'll take him any day of the week. All right, see ya. Hey, they're busting up top if you got anything for top. Dang! Expensive? Still sucks. All right, feeding frenzy starting to happen, guys. I've gotten like four or five bites now in the last 10 minutes. Oh, they jumping, they jumping. Let's keep going, baby, let's do it. All right, I can't stress enough. I wanted to hit one more point home with this fluke, and that's if you feel any, any different tension on the line, that's when you go lift up, set the hook, all right? Anything that's different. Because for all you know, that could be a fish. Might be a weed, but it could be a fish. Also, a lot of times I've noticed they like to hit right on the pause. So you do that little jerk, jerk, pause motion. That's when you'll typically feel, right when you go to do your first jerk. And you want to leave just a little bit of slack in that line when you're making these jerking motions. Reason being is because it's going to cause that, that plastic jerk bait, that fluke, start dancing all over the place. I don't know if you can see it in the water, but look at that. Just the slightest movement. A little bit of slack in line. It's going crazy. Baby. But it's fun. This is the baby factory though, man. Little dude. Little dude. Little dude. Alright y'all, so I hope you enjoyed that video on flukes. Hey, it's a great tool when the time is right. Didn't catch the big ones that we wanted, but hey, we still caught a bunch of fish. Man, it is always fun fishing with a fluke. Alright, until next time. To the fishing. Out.